Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at what's new with Zim Generator. So let's have a look. Here's a generator example. If I refresh here, there it is generating. And what we've done is we've made a way that we can record out or output the frames of this generative art. And that way we can then join those frames together, their images, join the images together to make a video. And that gives us high quality video of the of um, the art or whatever, the visualization that Zim Generator is making. You could do a screen capture of this happening with OBS, for instance, and it looks pretty good. You could do an animated GIF or use an animated GIF tool. Um, but sometimes that doesn't look quite as optimal in terms of um, quality. So we've added something to Zim Generator, an output parameter, that will then output, output images. So let's see how that can be done. First of all, if we go to Zim and then the docs, so Zim at zimjs.com, and then click on docs, and we type in gen for generator. Here's the generator. And if we scroll down, this is the new part right here, export. So generator can export frames as images that can then be compiled into a video. And we turn the output parameter to true. So no matter what the setting for generator is, generator's got a draw, it can call uh, a function as it draws, or it can call a function to stamp. Stamp happens all at once, draw happens over time. No matter which setting you use, uh, when you set the output to true, it's going to use the draw because it has to do it uh, each. Each frame has to be saved and it also slows it down a little bit. So setting the output to true will automatically slow it down, I think, by 10 times. And that allows there enough time for the browser to save all of these files. There's also a note here. See the note at the bottom, enabling browser automatic downloads. So right down here, there's a note on how we can make sure that uh, the browser will allow automatic downloads. So all that's pretty easy. To stitch it together, you can use something like FFmpeg, and we've provided a zip of that right here that works just fine. Um, so we're going to do that process right now. Sound like fun? Okay, so I'm going to some code now. We're using Zim NFT, which you will need. Remember that Zim NFT is now calling a crystal that's calling another script file that calls our CreateJS and our Zim Minified. And there's different types of crystals for different things like physics with Zim or 3JS with Zim, etc. But anyway, this is the basic one. You don't need anything special. It's just the Zim NFT uh, version there. And, oh, another thing as well is when you save these out like this, the canvas color does not actually count. So the canvas is background transparent in a sense. So if you want it background transparent, that's fine. You don't need to do anything. But if we wanted our art on black, for instance, then here we are adding a rectangle that's a stage width and stage height that will default to black. And we're adding that first. So now the background of our video will be black. Okay, or any other color you want, you can put in there. Um, here's the generator code. You may not have done generator before. It's pretty easy, but it can be a little tricky. There's a bunch of examples in, in the docs, and this is probably one of them. There's also an example mini site, and you can find that under examples or in the docs, under examples, under the collections, because uh, Zim has a, an examples section called collections, and the mini site is a collection of these generator examples. But this is about as simple as you can get this one. We're draw, when we draw, we're calling the function gen, and here's the function gen. Inside there, um, G, which is our generator, we're making a rectangle on that generator of this dimension. And then we're rotating it five degrees each time. So each time generator runs, it's going to rotate that rectangle five degrees. Therefore, if we want a full circle of those, 
we would want 360 divided by 5 as our max count. There's also a setting in here that can allow you to skip frames and then draw, skip 10, then draw. That's actually what we've changed by default as soon as we put the output true. So here's the draw. There's stamp as well. So remember that stamp, if you stamp, and we take a look here, here, refresh, there. I refreshed and it stamps it. The whole thing shows up at once. Um, but if we hit gen like this, uh, no, sorry, not gen, draw like that, then we refresh here, refresh, there it goes to draw. Now that's too fast. If we tried to save files as fast as they're being made there, the browser couldn't keep up. So we found out we had to slow that down by 10 times. It really doesn't take long, but um, here, we're going to try it. Yeah, let's do it. So to make it work, we would go um, output, colon, we can type. <laughs> I just try to type really fast and hope the right thing shows up, huh? Output colon true. There we go. So we save that up. We're all ready to output now, but before we output, let's make sure our browser is ready to save these properly. Uh, the browser defaults, I believe, to not allowing multiple, um, multiple downloads. It might actually ask if you want multiple downloads, in which case you could say yes. There's a way in theory to save the site that is asking and say don't ask again. But we found when we're doing it from local files, uh, we, we couldn't seem to fit that or make that work. So let's see what we have to do for these permissions. Go to menu, settings, <laughs> simply. Go to menu, settings, privacy and security, site settings, permissions, additional permissions, automatic downloads, and turn it on. Of course. <laughs> All right. So let's see if we can remember that. Privacy and security site settings. That's the first place I'll try and go. So that was under settings. Privacy and security. <laughs> Do you remember where? <laughs> privacy and security. Site settings. There it is. Okay. So privacy and security. Ah, right. Site settings. Um, good, I'm in site settings, and now what? Additional permissions. So then we look at permissions here, and we go additional permissions, and then that opens up automatic downloads. So automatic downloads, site can ask to automatically download. We open that up, and this is what we would check on. Sites can ask. In theory, we could add a site, and I've tried to add it there, but it didn't seem to work. I tried to add a file. Oh, well, too bad. Um, but it, it does work. It just asks us, do you want to allow multiple things? And we go, oh, yeah, okay. Alrighty, so the site is now ready, following these instructions. And let's try her out. You ready? We're going to refresh, refresh. Ah, allow. So there I am allowing, and look at here go my downloads. And unfortunately, once again, it's halfway through here. It says, do you want to allow again? So there must be some maximum number or something like that. And here they go, bloop, 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 bloop. I think that's all of them there. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you is that will download automatically into your default downloads directory. So I probably should write a little note in the docs there. If you want to change that, you can go to settings. Hmm, <laughs> where was that again? Settings, advanced downloads. Okay, so settings on your left, advanced, and then downloads, and you can specify a directory. So you might want to do that. We've specified the generator directory, and here is the generator directory in my in my E drive. And here are the files. That's true. There they are, all 72 files. So that looks pretty good. I think it it did them all there. We can take a look at one. So there's the first one. Uh, what, how we ma what we made it do is the zero one shows nothing. Because often when you have a video, you want it to show nothing, and then the first screen starts animating. And if you don't want that, uh, this zero one right here, 
is the nothing. That's the blank. Just delete that. You can delete the zero one. Now let's have a look at a file number 35 here. Is 35 of these things have been have been made. No. So what we have to do is stitch all these things together, join all these things together. I don't know if stitch is the right word. Uh, stitch is usually for panoramic kind of thing. Join all these things together into a video using FFmpeg. So I have FFmpeg exe already in the directory. Once again, if you take a look at the docs, there's a link to it right here. That's the zip file, or you can go find it on the FFmpeg file, but you know, you, you gotta find the right one to download. That's not too hard to do. Lots of information there. I wouldn't bother too much going through this. Uh, the, the command you most likely want is this command right there. <laughs> okay, uh, but we have to open up a command line to be able to go to run the FFmpeg. So the first step is grab the zip file, unzip it, and put the FFmpeg exe into the folder. So where was that? Generator capture, what was that one? Generator, I think this is it right here. So there it is, there, that, that's what we unzipped and put it in there. Now we have to run that with a command line. So I'm gonna go to my windows here and say command, like start typing command, and here's the prompt. I'm in the wrong directory. I'm not sure how to make that bigger. I don't think I can. I'm in a C drive right now. So I'm going to just say, where was this in my E drive? I think E colon enter. And that takes me to my E drive. In the docs, I showed you the commands that you need to do to, to get to somewhere. And then I can go CD space, uh, what was it? Generator like that, enter. And now I'm in the generator. How do you view that? DIR? No. Uh, LS? Nope. Um, yeah, I guess that was it. So DIR shows me all that's in there, and there they all are. Anyway, so I'm in generator, and now I want to run FFmpeg, 60 frames per second. Uh, image 2 it means something. It's to work with image sequences. Uh, there's the, the dimensions next. It's in the following format. Um, there is a way to export with a different name, but by default it will export gen space, oh no, uh, not space, underscore. And then this, this part means it's got an extra zero or two zeros or something like that. Anyway, I would just do this whole thing, the codec, blah, blah, blah. And the final one there is the name of your file. So space, the name of your file. So I copy that whole thing and I go back to my runtime command. I right click and control V. Mm, no, nope, that didn't do it. <laughs> control V. <laughs> Should have. Uh, let's try that again. Maybe I didn't copy it. Copy. Usually when I right click on it, it puts it in there. Okay, so I must not have copied it before. Usually just on the right click. So once you copy it, you just right click here and it pastes it all in there like like that and I hit enter and there she goes okay so I think all of that stuff was saying yep we did it shall we see if it did it all right let's have a look so I go back to the directory here's the generator directory there's final mp4 right there that looks good 146k not very big and I double click it and there it is. I happen to be on loop at the moment, but I'm not on loop. Repeat. Check forever. Okay. So not bad. Uh, there's full screen. And I guess that's as, go as good as you're going to get. These are very thin lines at angles. Sometimes it creates a slightly more or dithered effect look, but that's what the original looks like as well if you had it on actual size. So, yay! That is the process. This was a touch like an explore, um, but I, I think we've done it. And so that's the, the Zim generator. Yay. Uh oh, crap. <laughs> I, I forgot. Um, block. 
No, I'll probably block it forever now. But anyway, I forgot that we were on the slowed down exporting thing, so I was going to save a whole bunch of more, more images for me. There we go. I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. Have a great day or night, and you're welcome to come join us at zimjs.com slash slack or zimjs.com slash discord. Ask any questions, join our community. We'd love to have you there. Bye-bye.